Welcome everyone to the Freestyle Cast. I am your host, Matrix Lord Two and Two, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello, all. All right. So it's been a while since we did a Freestyle Cast, and as you know, with this cast, we're not like reading articles. We're relaxed. Um, yeah. never, we never have a script anyway, but we're not really looking at posts. We're just talking from the cuff. We're just talking from what's on our minds. Yeah. Um, so uh, there's been a lot. Uh, thank you to all my new subscribers out there. Much appreciated. Uh, so we got a lot of comments that I we have to start going over comments because, you know, I want you guys to have a voice too. Um, you know, when I – it, it, all types of comments are welcome as long as it's not, yeah, you know, just trolling or derogatory. and trolling. Right. So uh, there, there was a few comments that stand out that I, I kind of wanted to address. Um, so let's see what we have. All right. So as you know, I, I don't just do podcasts. I do a lot of videos. There are videos where I do in the morning or in the afternoon or I go around and I show where I'm going to eat or certain things, you know. So uh, yesterday, was it yesterday? No, not yesterday. Day before yesterday, I went to, no, yesterday, I went to uh, the new McDonald's that opened up. They, okay. they tore down a McDonald's that's been there for decades, right? Okay. And the plan was the owners, they're like, we're going to recreate it. We're going to recreate the parking lot. We're going to recreate it, bring it into the 21st century because it's been a while since it's been remodeled. Okay. So the McDonald's that I know, you 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 went in, right? Like they had a drive-thru, but it was very – Yeah. Like you had to be careful with this drive-thru. It was really tight, right? But you uh, you had a lot – you had an area where you could pay. So there was a whole big space to pay. And yeah. then if you wanted to eat, you go around to the back, and you have your whole privacy. You had your soda machine. You had your, your, your yeah. utensils. Nobody bothered you, and they used to have a ball pit. Well, when they remodeled everything, and I guess they thought it looked good on paper, they decided, well, we need to have more parking at the uh -huh. expense, I mean, I believe, of the facility. Yeah. Also, I guess they wanted to have bigger bathrooms or whatever. Um, but, the, I, but the problem is that, you know, they thought that the old design was antiquated, right? Yeah. But back then, people knew what the hell they were talking about. They knew that it wouldn't make any sense to squeeze everybody together like a sandwich yeah. with congestion. And I didn't film inside because I don't want to be disrespectful. You know, I filmed from outside. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, but as soon as I walked in, there there's people on the back of the door like this. So I'm like, oh, they must be really busy. So like the the the, the, the thing we would pay is close by the door. So you have to. Do you have one of those? Uh, do you have one of those um, digital? Well, wait. Let me get to that. So okay. I'm walk. I'm walking in. Here are the bathrooms. Here you go sit, right? And here is the line. So there's no space to stand online to pay. So you're seeping to the door where you, it's like a fire hazard. You're blocking the door. Yeah. Or you're blocking someone from eating, right? So picture I'm eating my crispy chicken sandwich. And I'm sitting down. And someone's ass is like this, like in your fucking face, basically. Because they're standing there, you're sitting down. So it's like yeah. someone's ass is in your fucking face, right? Or someone's next to you. or so, Like, why the fuck would I want to sit down if people yeah. are on top of you, right? They, I think they set it up towards more of a to-go thing than it was well, to... No, they were, no. So they, they fucking brilliant geniuses decided, let's put the fucking place where you sit close to where you fucking pay. You know, and and I'm like, so so not only that, but then to to kill the line, they developed these things to order on the computer with yeah, your credit that's card. What I right? got, yeah, that's what they okay, did. That's what they did okay, time. but you don't put the fucking device on the fucking line where you're trying to get people to order. You put the shit over there. So now 
You have the motherfuckers that are using the damn machine. You have the fucking line, right? And then you, where is the line? There is no, there is no this is, pattern to go around like a turnstile. People are making lines. So there are like, say, five registers, right? So you are forced to basically make your fucking own path. So you're either fucking blocking these fucking people yeah. from fucking eating. You're blocking the door. You're blocking the kiosk. The people were cursing because they were so upset. They were getting the orders wrong. Mm-hmm. It was like in a fucking coffin. And I, I, I don't like, you know, when I used to take the subway in, in Manhattan, I don't like fucking being squished like a goddamn fucking sandwich. You know what I'm saying? I want my space. Yeah. Go ahead. I was say saying, it. they didn't tear ours down, the one which is near, which is the on that 71st Street. They just remodeled the interior. Right. Uh, when you came in, first, uh, when you originally way it had, it had like, I'm trying to think, four, five, four or five little uh, two, two-seater two tables that pretty much went along the window. Right. And when I went in there uh, like last month or so, they done the they did the kiosk thing. They had two kiosks or th- they had two kiosks, and they took that away. I honestly think and the fact they got that designed that way. I honestly think that they uh, and, and they had more spaces around the corner. Don't get me no, this this is like a micro I think, McDonald's. I think a lot of times when they do something like that, it's more of an encouragement to drive uh, one cut down the number of employees they have. And two, to set up a more as a, a to-go thing. To where you well, go in I got to tell you, place. you're in an area where there's schools. It's the busiest intersection. It's the busiest. It would be the busiest McDonald's. You can't have a fucking small McDonald's. Yeah. There. So they're saying, oh, no, no, we're only two feet smaller. No, you're not. You're fucking like 20, 30 feet smaller. It's yeah. ridiculous. So I, I couldn't even stay there. And I fucking left. And I was like, if my if my food's cold a little bit, I don't care because I'm gonna get the fuck out of here, right? I come home, the bread isn't fucking fresh. Oh God! And I'm like, I'll oh, give me a fucking break. As fucking packed as they are, the bread's gotta be like fucking not fresh. Like they should yeah. be going through that shit regularly. And it was it didn't taste good. The only thing that was good was the fucking fries with the McChickens. That, like none of that shit was good. So I'm like, ah, oh, ruin my meal. But then also, when I got the, the French fries, I don't know what this fascination is with these fucking places that you go with fast food. Hello, if you're getting French fries, you're getting fucking fries. Throw the fucking yes. things. Stop being cheap and throw the things in the bag. Now, she, I was like, fries? So she threw two or three in there. I looked at her. Like, I'm getting two things of fries. Like, so she threw a lot of, okay. But still, like, come on. Like, you make it like you, like there's a ketchup shortage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you really need to fucking, like, if you don't own this multi-billion dollar company, throw some fucking packets in there. So, uh, I had a bad experience, and I won't be going there. I don't know how long. But, we had a comment, and the person's like, um, I, Hound Dog says, Matrix Lord, I hate to say it, but I come to your channel to watch Doctor Who and popular cultural content not an architectural review. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, Jesus. Uh, then you're at the wrong station, my dear Okay, friend. here's the thing. We do stuff on Doctor Who. I do comic book reviews. We talk about movies. We talk about horror movies. We talk about TV. I'm not always doing podcasts. And when I'm not always doing podcasts and I'm not talking about Doctor Who, you will see a lot of times I'll be eating, yes. I'll be walking, I'll be talking, I'll be visiting food places, stuff that I like to do. So it's not just about, I look at this as a channel with different program programming. So, mm-hmm. you know, you'll see, you know, podcasts, you'll see different things. There's something for everyone. So, but stuff that I like to do. Because if I don't like to do it, then it's a job. If I'm forced to do something, so I hope that answers your questions. Unfortunately, we do a thousand. We well, you'll see stuff like that appear. There will be a thousand videos a year, and I'm sure there'll be quite a few of me going to eat places. So mm-hmm. you'll have to just skip that video. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. 
Lance uh, says, if Chibnall does this backlash, the hate, the Bureau will be an, an apocalyptic scale that will make Sonic the Hedgehog backlash look like a Meyer Irritant. He's talking about the Doctor Who, if they erase canon. Um, yeah. And again, if they erase canon, I, I don't really want to talk about. I don't want to talk about Doctor Who too much on here, but uh, people will go ape shit. Let's put it that way. Yeah. All right, so uh, Riker's gaming lounge. I love to see David Banks back, even for a voiceover. I love to hear him say, "We meet again, Doctor." Yeah, yeah. I would love that too. Um, let's see. The ghosts who still walk the earth said, "You're very blessed to have a son who knows uh, what would make." A smile come to his dad's face. You work so hard on your channel. You have a great intro. Uh, you should be up there as one of the popular names on YouTube. Keep being positive and real. Well, thank you, Ghosts. Um, I have two, two wonderful sons. Um, Joe and Bree, Joe and his girlfriend Bree got me the mug, and Anthony's also. I guess me tons cool of stuff. Mug, I have to say. Right, I'm Anthony fun. gets me tons of stuff all the time, and I'm a big Spider-Man nut too. And um, you know, so it was you know he sent me Joe and Bree sent me stuff for my birthday, and Anthony. Speaking said, of comics, right? Uh, oh, Brian Polito of Lady Death Coffin Comics started another Kickstarter. Oh, yes, it's for Lady Death. Uh, well, one second, one second. So I have two sons who love me dearly, and I love them, and they're wonderful. Okay, got it. It's malevolent, male yeah, malevolent uh, decimation number one. And here, let me – I'm not yeah, going to attempt to see the amount here right now. This is what uh, – about sometime this week, I am going to make my pledge to get yes. it. But here it is. Boom. Uh, oh, this us. <laughs> Boom. Check on how much they've got. They did since wow. Saturday. This is uh, Wednesday. Correction, Wednesday. They got fifteen thousand already. Oh no, uh, two hundred, two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, two hundred fifteen thousand. Yeah. Right wow. Uh, and I'll send. I'll and I'll leave the link with you so you can post it in this cast. But uh, yeah, and scrolling down, you can see all these lovely things that you can get. Wow. Uh, That's like, pretty cool, man. Let Let me go. <clears throat> let me go down to the. I know six dollars is great, but let's go down to the twenty. Let's see, twenty six. You get the uh, the premiere edition, uh, mm. and you and you can read it when you go go there. But that's pretty much you can do it for twenty six. You can do it for da, 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 thirty, and it goes on up. And right. it's it's. I've got a few of his uh, those things, and I love them. I love them. I love them. So yeah. I uh, just been reviewing comics this morning. Um, Captain Marvel has been excellent, by the way. Uh, oh, this so this she's guy in the mask, and she's no longer evil, or well, no, she was never really evil. Uh, she was being, uh, you know, she had to do this thing, or else someone was going to kill people with bombs. Okay. So she didn't want people to innocent people to die. So th this guy called Vox Supreme is technically made up of some of the supreme intelligence. If you remember, was supreme Ooh, intelligence. Nice. So you know, it, it, it's more like you know. So she had to basically kill the Avengers and hook up their dead bodies to this guy's machine. Uh, I don't want to give it away too much, but it is a great run. It's been excellent. All right. Uh, what's also excellent is um, Fantastic Four lately because Dan Slott has, you know, revealed in this storyline that Reed Richards never made a miscalculation like Dr. Doom did. What happened was when they went in the rocket, the rocket was perfectly shielded. Everything was perfectly fine. This alien planet that you know, maybe this alien planet that Reed Richards set the course to go see. They didn't want them coming to see them. They didn't want any outside aliens to come see them. So the guy that's the president of the world, the guy called the overseer, hit them with cosmic rays. He's the one that's responsible. He tried to kill them. He tried to kill them, and they got their powers because the guy overseer blasted them with cosmic rays. Now, when they got their powers, he got even more scared that they were going to know that he did it out of revenge. So he decided to blast all his people with cosmic rays where the majority of the head high council or whatever were either superheroes or supervillains 
because when they turn into a monster, they, 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 they're shallow people. They're like, oh, you don't look beautiful. You're ugly. Oh, go, go, in the, go in the alleys, you piece of crap. And meanwhile, these guys were fathers and mothers, and they became monstrous grotesque things and this society was so friggin shallow yes, I mean, yeah. so horrible stuck up assholes that they threw them in the gutter how fucking disgusting right that was disgusting so finally after all these years weed's like you know we never went to that planet i want to go so then you find all this stuff out and and another thing is that something was calling human torch all back then to that planet like like you felt it was his destiny. And the girl that's on there, she went, saw this Oracle thing and said that she was destined to be with Human Torch or Johnny Storm. No, he wasn't even a Human Torch at the time. Yeah. So when they came, they were supposed to be like soulmates. Like in other words, that, that would be boyfriend, girlfriend. Like they had this link. Like they did, um, like they did similarly in uh, Voyager with uh, Instant Right. Camp. So, so basically, she, the, everything was resolved. She wants up going back with them, you know. And now it's it's going to be a thing with the Mole Man's the next one. So that's been great, too. And Alien uh, Sp Symbiote Spider-Man has been really good. Alien Reality. Uh, because as you know, the Hobgoblin is the um, mystic. He has the, he has the mm -hmm. Sanctum Sanctorum. And Doctor Strange is a bum. And the whole point of this reality was that Doctor Strange is like, look, I can't use magic because of this thing. But I can train you to be with magic to stop this guy. And Peter Parker's like, he's like, no, I would never be. He's like, listen, I was a surgeon. How the hell did I become social supreme? He's like, you're, you already embrace magic. Like you believe it's possible. So, so Peter Parker's like, no. So then he gets a call from Aunt Mang and, and, you know, in that reality. And all of a sudden he finds out that uncle Ben is alive and he's fucking happy. And oh my God, they're fucking having breakfast. And then the fucking hobgoblin blasts the fucking, window open he's like i found you and shit so lo and behold you know he becomes spider-man you know but uncle ben doesn't know that it's you know peter parker so he's like you know get out of here whatever and uncle ben's like it's spider-man evil spider-man or whatever and uh aunt may dies in this reality Ooh, so it's the reverse instead of so he's ben. holding her dead body well uncle ben's holding and he's freaking out so he goes to dr strange he's like train so now they go to this area in the snow that's protected from the view of magic and morbius the vampire for whatever reason he's there he attacks spider-man spider-man kicks his ass and then they go in the bubble and he's like i can live for eternity i'll wait out here forever if i have to to fucking kill you or something so uh it turns out spider-man starts going away and dr strange talking to him and he's like oh he doesn't know peter parker that you're alive like this the costume the symbiote he's like listen i can't make you like keep peter here but i need to train him because we need to fix this reality and i'm not going to train him anything that would hurt people i'm going to train him in defensive spells but if you just let him stay he's like i will keep your identity a secret and because Peter Parker is learning the spells, you will be learning the spells. So when you're not with him, you could cast spells. So now this adds a whole fucking other element to the fucking symbiote now by itself can fucking cast sorcerer spells. Sorcerer symbiote. A sorcerer symbiote. Of defensive variety, which is maybe how the symbiote is allowed to be without a hoe sometimes or taking a human form or there's a lot of weird shit going on with the symbiote lately so it might explain a lot but the only thing is so now he goes in this thing where he has to train peter parker for a year but only a week passes in real time so okay. he trains him in a week so peter parker as spider-man you know starts casting spells on doc doc blah 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 and hobgoblin Lo and behold, everything happens. We find out Baron Mordo is behind. The, he's the Sorcerer Supreme in this, in this reality. And you find out that Peter Parker's girlfriend, the Red Cat, which is, you know, Natasha Romanoff, is evil. And she, betray, she betrays them. 
So now you're like, oh shit. Yeah. So this is a wild ride. Uh, and next issue, Nightmare gets involved. So oh, nice. This is this is a really good. So a lot of people want to know what comic books I get. I get Fantastic Four. I get most of the Spider-Man books, Spider-Man related. I get Mary Jane. I get Gwen Stacy comic. I get um, Symbiote Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man. Um, I get Venom and anything related with the Venom stuff. Um, Spider-Verse, I stopped because I didn't like what was going on. Um, and these stupid little, like, cutesy fucking crossover shit I don't like. Like oh, the Venom. Yeah. They draw my cartoon characters like Teen Titans. I don't like that shit. So uh, I get mostly Black Hat. I get mostly the Spider-related comics. Um, I dumped the Hulk because I don't like what was going on. Um, and I get Doctor Strange now. So I, pretty much it's just about everything Spider-Man. Fantastic Four, Captain Marvel, Hawkeye, I get now. Because I met the writer, and he's a great guy. Oh, and he cool. held my book, and I held his books. Uh, so pretty much I, I will keep you guys apprised of what I collect. I collected all the 2099 stuff I still have to read. And I get Dan Slott's Iron Man 2020. So um, that's pretty much in a nutshell. If I missed anything, oh, yeah, I got the Doctor Who, David Tennant crossover thing. I got the second issue. I will be reviewing that later. Um, that's pretty much that of the comic books. Once in a while, I'll experiment and I'll get some new stuff. But it, it, it's pretty much a, it keeps growing, the collection, which is crazy. I'm all caught up on my shows. I didn't realize I missed The Flash, but I am caught up. Well, I missed Super I'm Behind. I missed the okay. latest Supergirl. And oh, yeah, Man. Supergirl was good. Uh, I will give you this little uh, I will give you this little Easter egg. Uh, Mr. Mixelflick does appear. In the I next heard episode. he's coming back. Yeah, he, he's going to be in the next episode. Okay. Uh, the Flash, you find out something quite amazing about uh, Iris in these last these next two i episodes. haven't seen the flesh since crisis okay you're all Talk. yeah there's something that that little scene which you did, didn't like in the preview about how how she makes that one comment okay it's explained quite uniquely okay i'm gonna say that. okay i'm gonna get caught up with that stuff i also uh, have to get see, caught up with the card i'm also caught up with let's see what else was the card you watch the card I did. I am caught up with Picard. Is it good or is it is it slow? It's good. It's it, it, it's it's a slow it's just, burn. It's just building up too long. It is. It's just one of these slow. So burns so by the time the series is over, time. then you fucking start basically. Huh? By the time the series is over, then you start. Really? Possibly, yeah. Because it is. It's a slow burn. So seven and nine doesn't even appear till fucking latest episode, right? Which is like five just, episodes uh, in, right? Next episode, she uh, she's. Wait a minute. Uh, Six is now. Probably this, last, this past Thursday episode. Or this so she Thursday. just it took a whole season just for her to appear. So they kind of they kind of tease you like all this shit happens in the first episode. It does. No, it doesn't. Right. Uh, Frank's uh, Jonathan Frank's does. Uh, Riker and Troy. Yeah, she he no Frank's does the did this uh, past. They're episode. directing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, we also going to be. Say they're all good, but yeah, right. is just a real slow burn. We are uh, doing the everything shows. Um, I know Scott's going to miss some today. We're going to do some today uh, because we have been neglecting the everything shows. Now, someone made a comment. I don't remember who it was. They're saying all my podcasts are the same. They're really not the same. Um, the freestyle cast, meaning it's just we're just going all, no plan. No direction, no backup, no worth of damn nothing. Just we're going out there. We can talk about anything, right? Yeah. We're not doing stories. We're not covering news. We're just relaxed, you and know, like a radio that, show. Death is out, so. Yeah, it's like a radio it's... show. We're just talking shit. You know, we're talking. The other shows have a format. Like the Real Who Beans cast is Doctor Who, period, yeah. right? We'll do news articles. We'll talk about figures. We'll talk about ratings. We'll talk about this. The Everything Show covers box office. That's a big thing with the Everything Show. Like I said, box I office movies. I did, do, I did see a fanta a Fantastic Four. <laughs> Fantas uh, Fantasy Island. It was quite good. Okay. It, and it, it's it's right. a matinee movie, but still yeah. it's quite good. So we cover movies, uh, you know, all that stuff in the Everything Show. Um, 
And we have the horror cast where we cover horror movies, you know, and we'll have other things. Sometimes we'll do everything shows with just me and Chris and Scott or just me and Chris. Sometimes we'll do it with a whole bunch of people. Sometimes, you know, but mostly it, the core of the everything show is really Chris, Scott, me. Like, that's like the main core. You know what I'm saying? Or Sally or Vaughn, whatever. Yeah. You know, we get in there. When we do the Doctor Who stuff, it's like Philip and Connor and everybody. You know, we all get in there and stuff. I mean, sometimes they're in the Everything Show, too. But um, when we do Bond and stuff, we'll be in the Everything Show. Uh, so we have a wide variety of podcasts. Uh, I, I I don't want this to turn into, like, a whole comment thing. So, because uh, a lot of this stuff is Doctor related, and I kind of want to talk about the Doctor stuff in the Real Wings cast. Uh, uh, we're going to switch to gaming now because I just bought the Amazing Spider-Man 2 for PlayStation 4, which is really hard to get because they don't make it anymore uh, from the movie. It was like $32.65, but I wanted it for the longest time. So I got it for PS4. It is, so I'm going to be playing that today, and I will be trophy hunting today. So, because uh, I am off today, but Scott has to go to work, right? Yeah, I am off. I am off uh, Friday. And, I mean, I'm off uh, Sunday, Saturday and Sunday. And yep. Sunday, two of my aunts and another relative is coming in town. So, so it's going to be right. fun. And All right. So, is, you know, yeah. I will say this much about video games. I've been starting to wonder with them having postponed uh, Biomutant. Oh, that's still going to happen. I read up on it. It's going to happen, but I'm starting since there's not, they're claiming March 17th. I keep getting this. I don't know why. No, it's September. This odd, this odd gut feeling they're going to probably release it around the, close to the same time as Cyberpunk as a competition. Probably. I keep having that strange gut feeling. We will be back later. Thank you, Scott. Take care. Bye for now.